Good morning, everybody. Welcome back for another haul video here today. So the last couple of times we've been out to a regular store, man, I gotta say, it was a little bit disappointing. <clears throat> Things were pretty well picked over, but went out a couple of times, was able to put together um, a haul here. So, you know, no like super, super big bang of items or those items that you're like, yes, I can't believe I found this. But there's some quality stuff here and I think we're gonna do all right. You may hear Marley crying in the background. She's being a sour little kitty today and I don't really understand why, but okay. So we'll get started here with this Athleta piece. And this is just like a, you know, a long sleeve pullover. It's in a one X in colors, not quite getting picked up, but it's a nice sort of just off red, just a hint of orangey color, really nice uh, stretchy material there. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly what this will go for, but <clears throat> I'm sure it's in that $30 range. Okay, and now we have good old faithful, let's see if I can get it here, yeah, good old faithful J. Jill in this nice open blue cardigan, soft blue, It's this is a linen blend, and you can see it's actually like a very loose knit. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that this will do really well. I uh, just sold a couple of J. Jill pieces about two minutes before um, filming this video. So here we've got some vintage Lee jeans, some women's Lee jeans in this like, you know, stone wash, acid wash kind of look. And this is Lee Air Gear, whatever that is, but we noticed these and just thought, you know what, these just look very unique. And I looked these up a little bit, you know, the sell through rate isn't like 100%, but um, I think they're gonna do pretty well. You know, you market them as something unique and you can, you know, make some decent money. I would have paid $7 for them. I'm sure I'm going to get somewhere in the 30 range. Maybe more. Um, these. What are these? These are some Levi's. Oh my god, are these mine? Did I just leave these in here? So these are a pair of jeans I picked up for myself. And uh, in a 3230, they're a boot cut. Nice, like, stretchy Levi's. Uh, very comfortable. Um, okay, wow. So ignore that. <laughs> okay, um, so, you know, a lot of the brands that I'll pick up are fine in other pieces, but when it comes to like their regular button up shirts or whatever, they don't do all that well. One of those brands is Peter Millar. I do pick up a lot of Peter Millar, especially in the golf polos and like sweaters and things. They're going to do really well. Not so much in the uh, button-up shirts, but I found three of them in the same size right next to one another. They're all like new They obviously came from the same donation or whatever. So I've just got this. They're in a size large this really nice soft blue and then This other one that's like a, a light blue as well And again, I mean these feel so crisp like these may have only ever been worn once or something so uh, and then this third one here, which is just a little bit of a, a darker blue with some black and stuff in there. Really nice shirts. Um, you know, if they were my size and I needed some dressier shirts or whatever for the office or something, I would pick them up. But so my plan is just to lot those together. So my buy cost on those would have been $6 each. You know, realistically, I might get like low 20s each, but I might just lot those for like 50 and make it a little bit more appealing for a quicker sale. Um, okay, so this is a smaller size, but again, you know, we just really had to be creative because things were really picked over. But this is the brand Joie, or, you know, French word for joy, or happiness. Um, so this is an extra, extra small dress, but it's just like this very slim dress. But um, I thought just the, the contrast of colors here and stuff would do really well. Um, I've only ever picked up this brand in silk. This is not silk. This is, you know, like what it is I'll look here but this is not a silk piece so this answers the question do they make anything that isn't silk um, so it is stretchy it's a viscose cotton spandex blend made in USA I think it'll do pretty well it just may take a while to find somebody you know that that's gonna fit because it is a very small size okay so um, this is a new with tags nasty gal uh, jumpsuit, you know, with the overall top and the full legs there. 
I wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't new with tags and if I had an abundance of other things to find, um, but I have sold a couple of things in this brand before. Being that it's new with tags, I mean, you know, when I looked it up, it didn't look like it was going to sell super quick unless it priced very competitively, but I mean, even if I'm getting like between 30 and 40 for that, I'm more than happy on my buy cost for that, which is seven something. Um, we've got another new with tags. Again, I wouldn't normally pick up a size two that's a little bit small, but this is the Essential Crop Flare by Anthropology in a size two. And, you know, just in, in a green, it's something a little bit more unique. I figured I would pick that up. And again, my cost on pants is seven. So even if it was like 30 bucks, I mean, that's still a decent profit. Okay. I have talked about this particular team before. This is the Crusaders, the Holy Cross Crusaders. Here's their logo. Um, I think a lot of sports stuff probably does well, like, you know, university things and whatever. It's definitely a U.S. market for that. But this particular one is, is one that I picked up a pair of running shorts before for myself and didn't realize it had this logo. I just thought it was a regular Adidas short, so I was like, okay, cool, I need another pair. I'll pick it up. And to my surprise, it sold for like 40 bucks. So I was like, oh wow, you know, because I didn't want it once I realized it was the Holy Cross Crusaders. I gotta be honest with you, that's about, you know, the last kind of representation I would typically put, you know, as far as uh, things on my on my body. Um, <laughs> you know, no offense, no, no offense, but it just wasn't my thing at all. So I decided to sell it and sold really quick. And then I found a t-shirt by them and sold that really quick. So I found this hoodie in really, really nice condition. And I figure, you know what, if the previous sales are any indication, this is an easy 30 to $40. So we'll see. Um, okay, so I've picked up some similar items like this, these kind of like, you know, canvas heavy workwear. You know, uh, this one's got a hood though. This is Duluth Trading Company. I've picked up some like L.L. Bean type of stuff, you know, with this kind of a flannel lined you know, work shirt, chore, shacket type deal. Uh, but I found these couple from uh, Duluth Trading Company with the hood. And, um, you know, they look like they're probably gonna do somewhere in that 35 to 45 range. So uh, there is another one in here somewhere. One is a large, one is an extra large. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll try those out. I haven't sold any Duluth Trading Company stuff before, so. All right, here's another Knox Rose piece, which just, you know, Knox Rose is one of those things that just consistently performs well for me. This is like, um, you know, it's got that raw trim, almost like it's inside out, but that is the style of it, because it's the same on the inside, uh, and obviously the tag's on the inside there. Um, but yeah, just this like, you know, kind of like almost tie-dye ombre sort of a look, and in an XL, I mean, $25, $30, no problem at all. And another Knox Rose here, just in like a, a sleeveless, but you know, similar pattern tie-dye sort of thing. A little tie front there. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, 25 or something. Okay, and here's the other <clears throat> Duluth Trading Company. I actually, um, you know, like this style. Like, it's not something I would typically, typically wear, but if I was going to be doing working outside around the house and things, or, you know, like fall chores, uh, you know, in the spring maybe, like cleaning up around the yard, I would, I would use something like this, it would be great, you know, keep my, keep my nicer clothes uh, clean and wear something like that, that's what it's kind of meant for, I think, and yeah, I can see why it would be really, really good for that. But these are too big for me. Um, okay, found a pair of Carhartt jeans, you know, just a regular kind of standard wash Carhartt jeans in a size 40, but these are actually flannel lined. And I've sold, you know, a decent amount of flannel lined jeans in L.L. Uh, Bean or Eddie Bauer, uh, even a couple of, I forget, I think like Eastern Mountain Sports maybe. But yeah, I've never seen Carhartt flannel lined. Obviously we're in the middle of summer here. It's probably not gonna go anytime soon but they're in really good condition. I sell Carhartts with like stains and holes and stuff and it sells well. These look like they're new. Um, I'd be surprised if I get any less than like say 35 for those. And then, okay, another thing I probably wouldn't normally pick up but it was new with tags is this uh, Columbia. These are cords, 
but they're new with tags. They're the UPF 50 Omni Shade uh, line, you know, so they've got UV protection in there. They were 60 US new, and these are in a 12 petite. So, you know, I mean, somebody who's looking for exactly this size is gonna have to come along, but you know, cords do all right. I mean, they don't move super quick, but they do sell and they sell for some decent money. Well, these are new with tags. I mean, honestly, if I got like 30, 35, I'd be happy with my buy cost, but yeah. This may end up being uh, one of the most uh, valuable items, even though it is just Banana Republic. This is Banana Republic with Scottish Cashmere Yarn by Todd and Duncan. And it is a 100% cashmere full zip hoodie. Um, like, it's a pretty substantial piece. I looked it over, there's no holes or anything like that. And it's this very soft blue. Um, you know, it needs a little bit of a sweater shave, but honestly, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty heavy, substantial piece. So to be 100% cashmere, you know, full zip hoodie, uh, you know, an actual leather um, zipper trim there. Like, this is pretty nice. I haven't even looked this up. I was just like, yeah, you're coming home with me. Uh, now, my thrift store did just raise their prices. Everything went up by about maybe 25 to 50 cents, depending on the item. Uh, that's before taxes, but this would have cost me $6.90 after tax. I think that this is probably more like $7.25 to $7.40 now, so I'm gonna have to like keep that in mind. Some items that I would pick up that are maybe like right on the cost, maybe now if they've gone up 50 cents plus taxes, I might be like, well, okay, I might be a little more selective, but honestly, the pricing is still pretty good, so. But I think that one's gonna do really well. And then before I left, I just looked over at the hats because, again, you know, just been moving some hats and doing all right with it. I found this one here. This is the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 38 Champions um, New England Patriots hat. It's in really nice shape and it's adjustable back. So that's one of the main reasons I got it. And then got this United States Marine Corps hat. And it's actually new with tags. Got a couple of loose strings on the back there. I'll just cut those off though. But yeah, new with tags, you know, good print there. Marine Corps. Uh, that stuff always does really well. And then just another one that's, you know, got the standard navy blue look with the with the laurels, the leaves there. And adjustable as well. This one is not new with tags, but still in really nice condition. So, uh, yeah, just pick those up. So, I guess that's about it for today. I haven't done any kind of a tally as to what I think this uh, haul is worth, but uh, I know that all together I spent less than $100. So, um... It's going to be a few hundred dollars worth of sales there for sure. And just hoping that my thrift store brings in some more new inventory, gets things rolling again so I can keep finding some of those bangers. But I think just, you know, with school out, with summertime, people are out doing things and more people are in there picking over some of the good stuff. Hopefully I don't have too much competition in my area, but uh, I think I've got enough of a supply. It's not, not a real big deal, but it was noticeable that the last couple times I was in there things were a little bit slimmer picking. So anyways, that's that. And we will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.